the world good morning it is ethan j coming to you guys live from this video i should not have done this because i didn't pray properly before i came onto this video but nonetheless may the lord be with us on this day so guys i got like uh, a few topics to talk about so you guys know about my whole fasting video that i made yesterday and i'm telling you this guys i pigged out to break my fast last night and i regret it so much not only did I eat a crap ton of carbohydrates, like a crap ton, I'm talking cheese, I'm talking bread, I'm talking chocolate, processed foods, I'm feeling it the next day. I went on a three day fast, and now that I'm eating that stuff, you can feel how disgusting that processed food is in your body. And this is the thing I love about fasting. I wanna to talk to you guys really quick about fasting. I have, so everything that I find out on my video is gonna be free content. I've, I've figured this out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna provide you guys content from stuff that I have found that has changed my life and has actually helped me move forward, right? That is the whole goal of my YouTube channel. I wanna improve. I wanna find any way to improve and become the hardest worker that I can become, the most confident leader that I can become, the most confident provider that I can become, the better, the best ver the best man that I could ever become. Yes, I clean shaved today. I should, have a, I should have a beard while saying man, right? But end of the day, that's my goal. That's my mission. That's that's why I'm here. That's why I do what I do, right? And I'm going to provide you guys so much free content on exactly what I had to learn so that I can get ahead if especially if you don't have the the gifts and the skills of the greats, right? The brains of Einstein and the bodies of Mahone and Kobe Bryant, right? If you're just a regular average day person, then you're going to need special mindsets, tricks and techniques to get you ahead, especially if you aren't achieving those results now. That's what the whole purpose of my YouTube channel is and my life pursuit is, helping people get better and improving. I want to show you guys one of the biggest revelations that I got while I was fasting. In the Bible, there talks about a verse that always used to scare me, right? And it still does to this day. And I fear the Lord. Um, I don't know too much about the Lord, but I fear him a lot, right? And it goes like this. Um, during the during the time, end times in heaven, people will come up to God and say, hey, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? Do we not cast out demons in your name? Do we not do good under your name? And he will say to them, uh, depart from me for I don't know you, right? And that verse used to trip me up. What that verse is really talking about, guys, and now that it, it, I got this during my fast, and I'm gonna talk about the fast in a second. It's talking about pride, right? It's talking about pride I, from, my, from my understanding. What are you doing the things that you're doing well, for? Like, why are you doing what you're doing? Like, why, specifically why? Is there, like, uh, is there pride behind what you're doing? Is there self-serving nature behind what you're doing? Last night, I had this revelation that I'm actually pretty narcissistic and I'm pretty entitled. Right, so I'm gonna be honest about that and tell you guys that I'm going through a character transformation. I want to, I want to change myself because I have flaws that I need to fix and I have an anger issue. Three things that I've pinpointed, and I don't want to be those things in my life at all. So I'm gonna to have to figure out how to unwire myself, and I'm gonna heal myself so I don't have those traits being an issue. Right? If God wants to use you, right? Let's say the Creator of all things, He's gonna use you to help a lot of other people right? I'm talking to a lot of leaders out there in the world. There's going to, you, some of you people are going to be some of the greatest people in this world, but the thing that you're making a mistake on, right? And may the Lord be with us all is that we're being self, sorry, uh, spit there, being very self-serving in our nature. It is important to think about yourself because the world will use and abuse you. Don't get me wrong, but using your gifts to serve fellow man is the heart where everything changes, right? So instead of training to become uh, an aesthetic uh, anomaly, train to protect your family, train to be able to walk with your grandkids and swim with your grandkids, uh, uh, train to be a better father one day, train to protect 10 people at once, train to defend yourself against criminals and people that want to do wrong unto your family, right? That's my new reason for training. And of course, I want to learn the scientific reason behind everything so that I can dispute it or that I can also teach it in a better perspective. So that's my reason for wanting to learn science so much, right? Um, I want to uh, improve my uh, my ability to make money. So that's the reason why I'm 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 so passionate about wealth accumulate, uh, accumulation, accum uh, accumulation and discipline. Why I'm so important to uh, talking about these topics, right? Uh, what's your why, right? If you're healing people, are you are you and, and 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 you're helping people? Are you doing it to prove to yourself that you are a healer and you're, you're a great person and that you deserve all the praise? Are you giving that praise back to Jesus Christ? 
right, to the, the creator. Now, I know that um, I went on a tangent in two different places, right? But the core root of what I'm saying is it all goes back to who you're giving credit to and why you're doing what you're doing. I got the revelation uh, separately while I was driving around and I'm like, man, that's crazy. So the reason why I'm not getting ahead, the reason why I can't go out of my own mental state is because I'm trapped within my own ego, in my ego world, world of my own ego. And how do I break free from that? Easy. Guys, I'm gonna make so many videos about this. Fasting will literally cure so many things. Fasting, prayer, and seeking the Lord, right? Seeking, seeking a higher purpose, seeing a, seeking a higher creator, right? Humbling yourself. That will put you in a state that us as humans do not get into most often. I'm gonna share, I'll share something with you guys. After I ate that food last night, after I binged out, I had like real fruit, gummies, I binged out guys, I'm, I, I'll be honest with you. I am, I'm, I'm pathetic to say it, but yes, for in that moment I was pathetic, but yes, um, I'm, I'm really not pathetic at all. I'm intellectual, high being. Remember, your words have power. I'm handsome, I'm, I'm, I'm sexy, I'm beautiful, I'm intelligent, I'm a man made by God. But anyways, in that moment I stumbled. And the reason why I did was, in that moment, I ate, I filled up my, my carnal desire. During the fast, all I could think about was these foods. And they enamored me so much that I just, I, I after I, I ate a little bit of honey and I realized I broke my fast, I went to the store, bought the food. And um, what I realized is, first off, that's how the enemy attacks. He gets you through, just have a little bit of this, have a little bit of that, just do this, just do that. You know, everything that takes you away from praying and fasting and seeking God, it, it's it's most like, and it's it, it involves some type of, kind of going into a different realm of of what the the simple the straight narrow is you're probably being influenced and second thing um when i ate those foods right immediately after i felt like complete garbage like i feel i felt like complete trash during the fast i had moments where i felt really bad but there were moments when i felt amazing like i felt amazing like it was i couldn't describe it to you i felt like things were being purified in my body so i know that uh i'm being called to another one right and i know that for this year i'm actually gonna practice this the most like by myself i'm gonna practice this the most and this is not a woe is me you know like i'm better than anybody else my friend you could do this too right you could do this too this actually might help change your life right it'll help change your dependency on food It'll help change your financial situation because you won't be spending so much money, right? It'll help change your uh, physiological makeup. And I want to talk about that in my next video, right? Um, it'll change your uh, your spiritual awareness. It'll change how you view things and how you interact with people, right? And that's the biggest thing. When you fast, your heart literally, I, I truly believe that your heart grows because your body is dying, right? Shutting down. On a sense you don't have time to be fighting with people you don't have time to be uh, 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 arguing with people actually to be honest with you guys when I was fasting I felt more sad for people than ever before I have a family member who's sick I don't talk to this person much but during the fast I just felt so bad for this person right because all I heard of them was coughing and they're just going through it so I made a prayer for them you know and it's like the sympathy that I had grew 20 20 fold all while I was doing this fast so <laughs> I hope that this is a message of like encouragement for you to attempt fasting, right? I want to talk about the physiological physiological aspects of it in my next video. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about why it's more beneficial ex in indefinitely if you are um, if you're overweight or you're struggling with fat deposits in different areas of your body. I'm going to talk about that in the next one, so stay tuned.